Hey guys, it's Carl Brown here, and I thought I'd just do a quick little uh, public service announcement here, just aimed at the, the guitar players out there that kind of continually keep this whole rumor that James Hetfield downstrokes every single riff that he plays. Newsflash, he doesn't. Now for many players out there who've played their music before or this style, this is common knowledge. You know this, you know that James alternate picks all the time. Uh, this video is not aimed at you. It's just maybe the more or less experienced players that have heard these rumors online, so they believe them and they really try to play some of these riffs uh, using all downstrokes and tear their arms to shreds and stuff. So it's kind of really just helping those players out. Uh, and hopefully it'll shed some light on which riffs are downpicked and which riffs do include alternate picking. Now I happen to be a guy that's taught almost 60 Metallica songs as for, for this filming, note for note the entire song. Um, so I've spent a minute with their music and I'm pretty familiar with how James plays his riffs. Besides that, I still get a lot of comments on my videos. Anytime I use alternate picking in a Metallica video on a riff, um, inevitably uh, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of comments of saying you're playing this wrong, James only does downstrokes, that's it. He downstrokes the machine gun riff to one, he downstrokes the main riff to Dyer's Eve, he uh, when he's brushing his teeth, he only uses downstrokes. I, I guess, I don't know, whatever. So I'm gonna show you the exact songs here that he is alternate picking. And there is hundreds of hours of video evidence that'll back this up. By the way, James has never even said that he downstrokes everything. It's just a rumor I think started maybe on Reddit by some 13 year old and it just kind of took fire. And it got worse when the Stranger Things came out uh, and a lot of people discovered Metallica, which is really cool. Uh, but through Master Puppets, which is a downstroke only song. So they took that rumor and this and applied it to everything he's ever done and it's simply not true. Now this is not a knock on James himself. I personally feel like he's the greatest rhythm guitar player in metal history. I think he's got the greatest voice in metal history and he's the greatest songwriter in metal history by a mile. Those are all my personal opinions. Some might not match with yours. So I think he's pretty much amazing. All right, let's just get that out there too. But I think he's also a very versatile player. He doesn't have to downstroke everything. He can use alternate picking when required because of speed considerations or simply because of feel considerations. Now that's not saying that James couldn't downstroke most of these songs that we're playing. Probably could. He could probably do play faster just about anybody. But there are some things that are physically limited. You can't play Dire Z using downstrokes, the main riff at least. You just can't do it. Now, I know somebody's gonna share a video with me of some 12 year old kid in Lithuania or something with some kind of central nervous system disorder that allows him to do it. All right, but we're just talking about like normal players, normal people, um, and it's just not the case. Some of the things are just physically not possible. Now, before I get into this list, I recommend you guys just check this out on video. Every single song that I'm saying here, a lot of times I'm gonna give you the, the second minute, like the exact riff that I'm talking about or the minute and second mark that happens in the song. Find live videos of there's just a, any of these songs, there's gonna be dozens of live videos that you can see James playing these with alternate picking. You can slow it down. Now I know there's players out there who, if you don't have a lot of experience with guitar or this style, it's kind of sometimes hard to dip, kind of difficult to see, is he alternate picking or is he downstrokes? And if you can't tell the difference, you'll learn. It's, it's cool, it's fine. Not everybody, you don't, you're not born knowing this stuff. Uh, but once you learn it, to know what you're looking at, you can tell if somebody is doing all downstrokes or alternate picking. Um, and if you're one of those players that can tell that, simply watch it on video and it'll give you the answers. All right, so I'm not gonna show video clips of this stuff. You guys can do a little bit of homework. So I'm giving you a lot of the minute and second marks of these stuff. I don't wanna show video clips of other live, live footage of this just for copyright reasons. This video might get taken down showing other people's live clips of this. Um, so, but, I'm telling you where it's at in the songs and you can find dozens of examples uh, across YouTube. So let's get into it. First, I'm gonna start with the songs that are downstroke specific songs. He's gonna use the downstrokes in these songs for the aggression that it creates, the vibe that it creates. They're a lot more aggressive songs when you're using all downstrokes. Now the songs that you're gonna hear him do this in are Master of Puppets, which is incredibly difficult to play all the way through up to tempo using all downstrokes, yet he can do it in his sleep, and it's amazing. Other songs that use all downstrokes would be Creeping Death or Through the Never. 
Another one is the frayed ends of sanity, except for the bridge section, which is alternate picked. In addition to that, we have Welcome Home Sanitarium, the heavy guitar section at least, and For Whom the Bell Tolls. And last but not least, The Struggle Within, uh, kind of around the 33 second mark you'll start seeing really do downstroke specific riffs. So those are instances where he's using downstrokes for a very specific musical purpose. Now, let's look at the songs that he alternate picks the riffs because they're probably just pretty, pretty much physically impossible to do otherwise. All right, so specific alternate pick riffs are the main riff to Battery and the main riff to Dyer's Eve, which comes in at the 36 second mark. And of course, the heavy riff in one that comes in at the four minute and 35 second mark, kind of, I call it the machine gun riff. Um, very specific. I mean, literally, the right when they go into that, the first thing they do is center in on, I think it's Kirk's hand, and he's alternate picking, but you also see James doing it in another camera shot. They're alternate picking that riff. It is not downstrokes. Don't hurt yourself by trying to play that part with downstrokes. Uh, it's just not going to happen. All right, then we have Leopard Messiah. Now, this one has a couple different style of alternate pick riffs. One, it's a little bit of a slower riff that he could probably uh, downstroke. I'm sure, and that's at the one minute and 41 second mark. Um, he's alternate picking it though for feel reasons. And I'm gonna go into a list of songs where he does that in where you would determine hey, he could easily downstroke that, um, but he doesn't, he alternate picks. Uh, I'm gonna go through a list of some songs like that in a minute. Um, but we also have in Leopard Messiah, the fast riff, which is definitely alternate picked because of speed reasons at the three minute and 36 second mark. And towards the end of Orion at the seven minute and 32 second mark, that killer riff, is alternate picked. Now, Damage Incorporated is mostly alternate picked from the minute and 30 second mark onward. Now, there is a couple of instances in that song where it's downstroke based riffs, but there'll be some quick little bursts of alternate picking in there. Um, I'm gonna also talk about that a little bit, combination riffs that happen a little bit later. Uh, but that happens some in Damage Incorporated, but most from uh, 130 onwards in Damage Incorporated is uh, alternate pick based riffs. And also we have Fire Fire with Fire at the 41 second mark. That riff is alternate picked and so is the verse and so is the chorus. Now Ride the Lightning has mostly down stroke riffs until about the one minute and 50 second mark, one, one minute and 56 second mark. And then we have a lot of alternate picking um, going on there and those riffs as it speeds up. Then again, we have Trapped Under Ice at the 33 second mark. That's an alternate picked riff and that continues on through the verse. Another alternate picked song is Holier Than Thou. And yet another song that starts the alternate picking at the 33 second mark, oh, some kind of conspiracy stuff there, uh, would be Hit the Lights. So that main riff at the 33 second mark is alternate picked. Now for some more earlier Metallica riffs that are alternate picked, uh, we have the Motor Breath intro, uh, the whip, Whiplash, most of the fast, fast riffs and, and Whiplash are alternate picked, and Metal Militia. All right, now there's a few tracks that James alternate picks the riffs that very easily he could do downstrokes. You know he could. Um, and, but he does it for a very specific reason. Like I said before, when you're doing a rap, a rapid downstrokes or downstrokes in a row, it creates a more aggressive sound. And sometimes James will want that. He is what we call a very versatile player. He can do both. Um, so when we come to Eye of the Beholder, that is not a very fast riff. Um, the intro and the verse, you would think that he could easily downpick that, but he alternate picks it because it has that, it creates that laid back feel that that song has. And it would not have that feel if he used all downstrokes. Now the Four Horsemen riff was obviously written by Dave Mustaine, so we'll get that out of the way. But that intro riff has got a very interesting feel to it. It's not very fast, but to get that feel, you've got to alternate pick it. And then at the 16 second mark, it goes into an alternate pick riff that is played that way because of the speed. So this is kind of one of those songs that partly alternate pick because of feel some of the riffs and partly alternate pick because of the speed. And then looking at some newer Metallica, the Lux Eterna track, James could easily downpick that. Like the intro, the little chromatic power chords are going on in the intro, and then the main riff of the song, James, James and Kirk could both easily downpick that. They don't though, they alternate pick it because of the feel. They want that kind of old school feel, and that's how you get it. All right, now last but not least, we're gonna talk about the uh, combination riffs. So, so the riffs that he's doing mostly downstrokes, so kind of got that downstroke, rapid downstroke feel, and then it'll throw in some quick little speed bursts that are alternate picked. Um, it'd be highly 
difficult, almost impossible to play, do the kind of like a nice steady, you know, all downstroke riff, and then try to do three rapid downstrokes in a row. It's not how he's playing it. He's doing a quick little alternate pick burst. So a good example of this is uh, Disposable Heroes. So that has all downstrokes until the riff at the 31 second mark. And then that riff at the 31 second mark is mostly downstroke based, but it has these quick, quick little bursts in it. And those little bursts are those quick little down, up, down type thing um, that's alternate picked. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to achieve that effect. Blackened is a riff that is very challenging to play, the whole intro riff um, that has um, mostly downstrokes. Until the very, very end of the riff, there's a quick little alternate pick burst thrown in there as well. And another example of like a downstroke based riff that uses a lot of bursts, little alternate pick bursts, is the uh, the main riff to Shortest Straw. All right, so now I could keep going through many, many, many more Metallica songs, but I think you guys get the point. It's, uh, when you look at the fast bass, not the, the riffs that aren't just obvious, they're like, you know, slower like you when you get on like the black album a lot of the songs are slower tempo on that record so um you know there's not an odd need for um specific like uh altered baking or whatever they're just kind of slower tempo songs you can play it with downstrokes there's a couple of songs that are very fast on that album that we've talked about already um that are very specific to um, rapid downstroke technique, but most of the tracks are laid back. So when you look at their, especially like Ride the Light, well, you know, all the way from Kill 'Em All, all the way through um, Injustice For All, th those really show you it's a, it's, a, it's a good mixture of rapid downstroke songs and alternate pick bass riffs. But you'll actually find through the faster material through that, all the, that era, that more of the riffs are actually alternate picked than they are strict downstrokes. So um, think about that. It's probably, uh, when somebody's saying it's, it's all down picked, it's probably a minority of the songs. The ones that I listed are actually the main ones that are very downstroke specific. Uh, but most of the main riffs and a lot of the rest of the tracks in that era actually include alternate picking. All right, so I hope this kind of clears up some questions that some people have. It's, it's all you gotta do is watch the videos yourself and you'll figure this out and then we'll discontinue these rumors and I won't get bombarded with 100 comments for every Metallica video that I put out telling me that I'm not playing the riff correctly um, when all you gotta do is really use your eyes and you can you can see this. Like I said, James has never said that he, he does downstrokes and everything. And personally, I think you need both developed very well to be able to play Metallica's, Metallica's music um, because of speed considerations or because of feel considerations. Um, so if you want to be able to play Metallica's music, which a lot of young players do, which is awesome, um, don't try to do it with all downstrokes. Please, please don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if somebody could pull some of this stuff off, it'd be very impressive, but it's not really needed uh, to, to play some of the greatest metal music of all time. Because like I said, it's not performed like that anyway. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.